Hi, Interweb! It's KJ and... Jonathan! For a little catalog update, um, we're just going to do a bunch of Christmas posts because uh, Christmas is Yankee Candle time. Um, so, Jonathan, tell, tell me, he just okay. went to Yankee Candle yesterday without me. So I went yesterday, and it's a whole story, and now you're going to hear it. Okay, um, so the purpose of my trip was, was twofold. One, I'd given up on blackberry tea. It was time. I just wasn't burning it. It smelled terrible. It looked terrible. You didn't give it to Marianne. I didn't. I couldn't. I, I, even though she said she liked it as a, as a good friend, I just couldn't do that. And it still had half. It was about half full, and I thought, they say that they'll take it back. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the plan. I also needed to get a couple of candle gifts for people, which I won't reveal in case those people watch this video. Okay. Okay. But... It's not you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I start the morning out and I go and get um, like a Reiki massage for my favorite energy worker, Reiki reflexology dude, mm -hmm. which is like, he's, since we're, we both do Reiki, he's like, we're really in tune with one another. He gives me the best treatment ever. I'm so I'm, afterwards I'm having this Zen day where nothing can go wrong. I like cruise until the mall just like whew, doing fine, <laughs> get some food. But here's the thing. I left the candle in the car during the massage and the sun came out and so it was on the floor and it, it, all the sides kind of melted and somehow essence of the wax got on the glass and so I'm like walking to the mall and realizing like oh there's wax like all over my fingers and my fingers reek of blackberry tea. What? That's weird. Um, and I look at it and like the wax is melted all over the inside plus there was soot because I didn't have an extra topper so it looks like um, if you've seen Harry Potter, and if you haven't, um, so it looks like the potions that they're making in Snape's mm. class, there's just this like bubbly, dark purple soot. Oh. Uh, and I'm like, well, this sucks. So I'm getting my food, I get my, like, to put it on a tray, spill some water, it was a whole thing. Eat my food, it's still like, no biggie, whatever. Walking, walking to the store, and all of a sudden the glass top of the jar falls off and shatters into a million pieces what? and like 20 people are all like <gasps> and like people are like are, you know are your feet okay are their feet okay it was like really like and I was like well in my zen ah! <laughs> whatever I just walked away like I'm sure someone will clean I just passed a per cleaner person so I was like I'm sure they'll clean it up <laughs> so <laughs> so now <laughs> I'm walking into the store with the ugliest most bizarre candle of all, with no top, and I come in, and there's New Zealand Christine. <gasps> <laughs> and New she Zealand goes, Christine. I don't know. I don't know how to do a New Zealand accent. What did she say? She said, "What did you do to your candle? What did you do to it?" <laughs> it was like what I was like. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. I'm like, well, I want to return it, but because I don't, I don't like how it smells. And I haven't burned it in a month, but all of this just happened today, and I dropped the thing, and she was just looking at me, kind of like shaking her head, and I was like, so, can I return it? And she was like, well, do you want to exchange it? I'm like, yes, yes, that's what I mean, I want to exchange yeah, it, because yeah. she's thinking he wants money for this. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that crazy sister. He paid money for it. <laughs> and she was like, well, she took it from me kind of like this, and she was like, pick out what you like, <laughs> and I was like... New Zealand Christine. Awkward. Um, I hope she doesn't get in trouble. I know. So, that was kind of the story. I felt really bad bringing it in. And then um, I ended up p picking a trade. I wanted to kind of, I ran out of harvest, and so I wanted, which wasn't very strong. Yeah, I wanted, let's talk a little bit about what our experience. Yeah. For some reason, and I've heard this on other Yankee Candle videos, harvest this year is not a strong candle. Like, it's been... It hasn't been room filling, yeah. and I don't know if that ever happens if like candles age or a certain batch is funky, but I've I know I'm not the only person to be a little disappointed in harvest this year, and Marianne's too. Hers, it's not really filling the space. Right. So mine, it it, it was a nice compliment to Golden Spice Pear, which if I could find another Golden Spice Pear, I'd be so happy because I'm in love with that candle. Keep talking. But and um, what I settled on, there you go. What I settled on was. Um, farmer's market which when I initially smelled it I thought it kind of had a like a oh it's 
fruity, spicy, with a hint of B.O. Mm -hmm. So it was gross. But a then, little bit of gas station bathroom. This time... <laughs> this... You're so funny. This time I smelled it, and all I smelled was fruitiness and spiciness, and it was delicious. Mm. And I was like, that can't be right. And rinsed my nose out with coffee beans, came back, and was like... This is really good. It's like autumn, but stronger and with some fruit notes. And it was that between that and autumn wreath, and autumn wreath was just too much like walking to a wall of apples. Yeah. And so I went for um, the farmer's market, and now I've had it for two days, and it's not very strong. It's kind of pulling, pulling a harvest. So if you're like lingering over it, it's really nice. But who's lingering over it? Well, I have been because I've been doing work. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, it's on your table. It's, like it's not on, my lap on practically. an altar to the seasons. <laughs> um, well, I, I took it from my little altar with my gourd and my and my yam gourd. because decorative gourds. So, um, well, that, I'm glad you traded it. I'm thanks. sorry for the trauma. I'm glad it turned out all right. How's your autumn candles? Been? Um, so this is harvest number two. Though technically, I started the season with like half a harvest, so that's like. Sort of number three, apple spot or cinnamon. Apple cider. Thank you. Apple cider number one is almost done. It's been really overpowering the harvest this year. I even thought about switching up for some autumn wreath, but um, when I smell it at Marianne's, it's just it's too sweet. It's too sweet. Too sweet. Duh. <laughs> but um, they're pretty. The harvest also hasn't been burning very evenly. I don't know oh really? That. But my Let Freedom ring has been doing that. I finally had to get in there with a knife while it was um, warm and get everything set. No, did worked. you wait? Did you update the people about Let Freedom oh, Ring? Oh, I didn't. Oh, Let Freedom Ring been burning in my bathroom. It, well, I should I really update you. At first, I was like, there's just this weird, like, kind of like after smell that I don't like. Um, and I thought that it was the candle, and no, it was just my bathroom. <laughs> Nice, nice. <laughs> so it's so good. So, so that's actually great. The candle's good. Yeah. Good. After the bathroom, got a thorough clean down thanks to my friend Lauren. Clean it. Clean um, it. Yeah. I have to say, I'm a little funky because I just, I've, uh, I'm wearing a finger brace because I kind of sprained it bartending two weeks ago, and then also bartending my <laughs> middle fingers um, get really jacked up when I open beer cans and stuff so i've kind of touched up my manicure into this so we're about i'm telling you this because we're about to engage with this fellow and it might be hard for me to turn the pages so um i just wanted to say because when we were there in fall uh, for our fall trip we smelled a couple of the new christmas ones and i gotta talk about them because they is nasty <laughs> Child. Hey, mm -hmm. okay. So let's just take like another seven minutes for me to switch accents more times. <laughs> um, so we got our perfect pillars. Which I will say I almost bought looking for these gifts, but they didn't have the scent I wanted in perfect pillars. And I only would have done it because they had a good, decent sale, two for 25. I needed two gifts, I thought. And some people are so against the labels, I thought, well, look, you can oh, pull it off. But you can pull them off, all of them, hypothetically. But if they're older, they don't come off as well. Yeah. Um, okay, if you're going to need to do some scratch and sniff. Okay, first we're going to smell sparkling cinnamon, which I smelled in person. And let's scratch it. Hurry up. You're taking too long. Wait, um, where is it? Is it? It's in the circle. Here? It's in the circle of life. Okay, my experience of sparkling cinnamon in the store was that it was it smells like magazine. burning cinnamon with a beef jerky aftertaste. <laughs> There's definitely a cured meat element. That's in there. I smelled it today. Or when was I there? Yesterday, I guess. Yesterday. Yeah, Tuesday, there is something. Mm, something of something's roasting on the it's, spit. It's neither sparkling nor cinnamon. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, totally it's sure horrendous. Of that. But um, here's our friend balsam and cedar, which I know some people out there do not like Christmas I, tree I smells. I met one of them today, and Ooh. she didn't like it. Which by the way, do I know your name. By the way, here buy a, buy a teacup to put a candle that doesn't even stick out of. Yeah, is it opaque? No, Will it's not it opaque. Even glow? No, it's no, it's terrible. Just Man. a terrible idea. The stupid. Dude. Or or buy a tea light holder that looks like a tea kettle, but you can never actually use it as a tea kettle. No. Oh, stupid. No. I hate no. it. Unwanted. But we love balsam and cedar. Okay. We do. We do. So this is really what I want to talk about. I don't know if we'll go through the whole catalog. But we so, gotta get to this. So these are three of the features. We've got Christmas rose, cherries on ice, snow. no cherries on snow, and mountain berry. These are the new ones. Now, um, our viewer Linda out there, I know she likes Christmas rose. 
and I think she, when she mentioned it, even said I probably wouldn't like it. I definitely don't. It smells oh. like old, old linen closet soap mm, from hell. I don't. <laughs> it's it's gross. I definitely, and I love my grandma to pieces, but I've definitely smelled it multiple times in different. When I was a little kid, different drawers it's and It's like baby perfume. powder, crab tree, and Evelyn on crack. And I don't know what the Christmas element is. Mate, will it tell well, us? Oh, because there's a hint of pine. Because holiday memories bloom in the authentic perfume of delicate rose petals with a hint of pine. No. The hint of pine's barely there. It just smells no. like tainted rose water. They should have called it Low How a Rose Air Blooming. Love it. Um, what okay. about the Jewish folk who come to? Uh, that's true. Well, they're not buying Christmas rose anyway. Well, they're not. Do and they, they're actually. There is a there is a Hanukkah candle. I don't know what to say. It's Festival, Festival of, of Lights. Lights. The Raven car. It wasn't. It wasn't there. No, it's not. I. I well, that seems discriminatory. Anyway, people didn't like it. Okay, we're gonna talk about Mountain Berry, which the description is inspired by nature. The wintry, crisp scent of frosty woods. Red berries, currant, and rosemary. Now, rosemary, that hasn't happened. We like Did you just smell your fingers? It's That's better than disturbing. smelling the page. That's disturbing. Oh, ooh, this is a this is a blackberry slurpee. Um, <laughs> with a hint of axe? With a, a hint, hint of, of like axe. It's just, I don't like berry spiny. smells. I don't like berry smells. Mm -hmm. Why are you putting berry in my smells? I don't like it. It has that like Midsummer's Night tang to it. Yeah. With berry Something on top. musky. Something musky this way comes. Okay, now. Okay. <laughs> Cherries <laughs> on snow. The image, okay, the image is oh. literally cherries sitting on snow. Here's two things. Two, before I even smell it again. Cherries, unless it's hot, hot summer and they're ripe on the vine, cherries don't smell. If you're holding the cherry up to your nose, you're not really smelling anything. Snow, also, no smell. Put them together! No, no. smell! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> but when you make it a candle, it's a... F it, okay, smell it. Let me smell so it. Go smell it, because, I mean, I can... Ugh. It's it's a cherry slurpee. It's not even a cherry slurpee. This is worse than children's Tylenol. Ooh. They took children's Tylenol and put acid into it or something. It's an acid Tylenol <laughs> slurpee. It's so bad. People it makes me like it. What's wrong with people? It makes me <laughs> feel like thing. first of all, the far that you could get from Christmas. So what's yes. that like July? Yeah, this smells June. like it, this is definitely on the roller skate Ugh. rink genre. It's, which I'm okay with in real life, but I don't want to smell it at home. Everything about this makes me furious. Or it's and like upset. Um, summer camp snack shop. That's it. That's it. Summer camp snack shop. You're, it's like choosing between a fruit roll up or like <sighs> some gummy bears or. Uh, it's just who puts cherries on snow? Why are and look? Why are and we these are snow? these are maraschino cherries. I think I've never seen a cherry look like that before. No. So I'm like t I'm like making an ice cream sundae because it's Christmas mm -hmm. time and putting the cherries on sn on snow as if that's like no. Stupid. I don't think my dog would even eat that. I wonder what he Doreen at Yankee Candle has to say. She about loves it. Like, Did you see that video? She right. went. Mm. Check it out. Um, well, I think I'll save some of our other uh, Christmas things, and I want an update. I want. I want Marianne to come and update on how she's doing with her first Yankee Candle ownership. Um, so it's still fall in the cottage. Um, here they are. Uh, we miss you all. We love you all. We don't know most of you. But we still um, love you. We do. Uh, Shout outs to Ian and Marianne. Yay! And happy Halloween!